Well, we're going to turn overseas now to that escalating crisis in Egypt, a key American ally. That country's interim prime minister is considering a drastic move to end the violence by disbanding the Muslim Brotherhood, threatening only to enrage protesters and add to the bloodbath. Hundreds believed to be killed in the last week alone, and now there is concern over the fate of priceless antiquities being destroyed at the country's museums. ABC's Mohammed Leela is keeping a close eye on the developments from Cairo. Mohammed. Good morning, Biana. The Muslim Brotherhood here is continuing its defiance, announcing several more protest marches planned, all of them set to begin within the next few hours. This morning, Cairo woke up to this, the heaviest police presence we've seen here in days. The army's armored vehicles on every major street, even here guarding Tahrir Square, the famous square so central to Egypt's democratic revolution two years ago. It comes as the ongoing violence continues to spiral out of control, with angry civilians now taking up arms against the Muslim Brotherhood. In this video, watch this woman here in black. She's a Muslim Brotherhood supporter who's just been released from a mosque. In less than 30 seconds, watch as she's surrounded by an angry mob, then attacked. The military intervened to keep her safe. Many Christians are also afraid, worried more churches like this one will be attacked. This man guarding a church in Cairo telling us earlier, of course I'm worried, but I'm ready to protect this church with my life. Even Egypt's ancient treasures aren't safe. These photos show looting and destruction at the Malawi National Museum in the city of Minya. Glass cases smashed, an ancient sarcophagus on the ground, and priceless statues destroyed. Now, the government here is justifying the crackdown, saying that police have been showing restraint and that this is a war on terror against Islamic militants who are bent on overthrowing this country. Biana and Dan. All right, Mohammed, thank you. Well, the unrest in Egypt is proving to be a tough test for the Obama administration. Host of ABC's This Week, George Stephanopoulos, joins the discussion. Good morning, Good George. Morning. You know, a lot of people are saying, why isn't the U.S. doing more? Is the concern of betting on the wrong horse? I think the real concern is there may not be a good horse in this fight. You know, for months, when the Muslim Brotherhood was in charge, after they'd been elected, the United States pressed them to be more inclusive, to open up the governing process. They ignored the United States. The military comes in. The United States presses them not to have violent crackdowns. They're ignored as well. This is, you know, so far, President Obama has avoided suspending military aid to Egypt because he wants to maintain our influence. But if this continues, if the military continues to ignore U.S. pleas to calm down the violence, they may have no choice but to suspend aid. And of course, we know the embassy there in Cairo is closed today because of the escalating violence. I want to turn back to domestic policy. The president wrapping up his vacation at Martha's Vineyard. We have images of him playing golf yesterday with uh, Larry David. But aside from him being on vacation, he's coming back to a lofty, lofty administration, and he's got immigration reform, gun control, a deficit deal. What, if any, can he accomplish? Well, that, the big, he's got a big fall coming up, which is why he cut his vacation short. He only went eight days this year instead of the normal uh, two weeks. And, and the big problem for the president right now is they're facing three showdowns with the Congress over shutting down the government, over the debt limit, over the sequester, which has already led to severe cuts in government funding. And the president has precious little leverage there as well. But he believes, and the White House believes, that the Republican Party is even in, in an even weaker position, that if they shut down the government, say over their calls to defund Obamacare, they will uh, relegate themselves to minority status for a generation. Well, they really do have a lot on their plate, both domestically and internationally. Mm -hmm. All right, George, thank you. Thanks a lot. And be sure to join George for all the latest on the crisis in Egypt coming up on this week.